Hi, how are you? Welcome back. Can you hear me very good evening, well? Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, I ready. like that. I like that, okay. As you can see today, we are going to finish uh, this week and have a problem with my connections. Le voy a confirmar back, teacher. Really? Yeah, go on. Okay, hold on a second, please. The feedback. And the problem that I have is that right here is it look like it's going to rain again. I don't know in your areas. Let me see if I can use my headphone. What about now? Can you hear me very well? Yes. Much better? Much, Much better. better. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you. Como les estaba diciendo, uh, en esta área, generalmente, durante la época lluviosa, siempre... Eh, Las tormentas se acercan mucho, ya que existe eh, mucha vegetación y es por eso que algunas veces ah, la señal se interfiere, ¿no? Pero haremos todo lo que esté a nuestro alcance para que todo nos salga de la mejor manera posible. Lo que les estaba diciendo es que el día de hoy uh, estamos cerrando casi la semana. Nosotros iniciamos día jueves. Eh, luego vamos a ver eh, la plataforma quizá para, para ir mirando que, que todos vayan al día. Eso es sumamente importante ya que eh, si usted va cumpliendo con las actividades y su asistencia, eso le va a ayudar a salir adelante. Por ahí les he dejado incluso a uh, los vídeos, se los he enviado al grupo, por si alguno tiene problemas para ingresar a través de otra vía. Se lo he dejado por ahí. Thank you, Pichi. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Um, let me see, five minutes. I got the attendance ready. Let me see how many people do we have now. Veamos cuántos tenemos. Uh, tenemos once. We need to wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poco más. Uh, another thing that I want to tell you is that, if, that you are free to participate, but suddenly if you don't want to talk, it's up to you. Esto se lo digo en español, eh, todos son libres de participar. Si de repente usted no lo quiere hacer, no se sienta obligado. A veces uh, mi forma de trabajo es uh, así. Me gusta como presionar un poco para que tomen la iniciativa. Y algunas veces, como dije al inicio, eh, 
a veces uno tiene ya su, su carácter, su semblante y de repente puede meter en medio de todo eso, decir algo que puede ser una broma y alguien lo puede interpretar de otra manera. El ritmo de aprendizaje cada uno de ustedes pues lo va a ir adecuando a su forma de cómo aprende, ¿sí? Así es que yo, yo les pido que tratemos de comprendernos y a veces cuando yo trato de, 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 como de preguntar, lo hago para el bien de todos ustedes, no lo hago con el objetivo de que alguien se sienta presionado, me comprende. Está bien, pues. Ok. Les explico esto porque puede ser de que alguien comprenda las cosas a, al revés, ¿no? Y a veces hago comparaciones que también pueden interpretarse de otra forma. Es lógico, yo comprendo el proceso que nosotros estamos llevando. Donde... Eh, la andragogía eh, tiene mucho que ver ya que las edades que tenemos no son edades como todas homogéneas, ¿no? Entonces cada uno tiene sus diferentes formas de cómo aprende. Todos tenemos obligaciones, a veces eh, venimos más cansados, otros más livianos. Entonces, pero el objetivo eh, de algunas actividades es de mantenerlos a todos despiertos y por eso es que en mi caso no me gusta mantenerme solo como facilitador hablando, sino que les pido que, que también colaboren, ¿no? Entonces espero que eso no les, no les moleste, ¿verdad? Y si de repente pues yo le llamo a alguien, me dice, no, no estoy listo, no estoy preparado y tranquilo, todo, todo nos podemos entender de la mejor forma, ¿verdad? Así es que no sé si tienen algún comentario o duda. Eh, por ahí les dejé una tablita de verbos irregulares. Eh, les explico eso. Ahí les escribí que se las dejo para que les ayude. No, no, no esté pensando alguien que dejé la tabla y que la quiero que se la prenda. No, 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 no es así. El objetivo es, si ya la tiene, pues... Bien, y si alguien no la tenía, pues ahí está. Ahí aparece la pronunciación. Lo único que usted tiene que hacer es, eh, en la primera columna, buscar la traducción para que usted ya sepa cómo funciona. En la primera tenemos el presente simple o la forma base. Y en la segunda está el pasado simple y en la tercera columna está el pasado participio. Así es que... Ahí se las he dejado para que ustedes puedan hacer uso de esa tabla. Bien, voy a pasarles lista. Y cuando no entiendan algo, por favor, levante su mano en ask me question. And I'm going to give you an answer. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok. Let me see it's here. Okay, here we go. Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen. It's not here. Ángel Narciso. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Cristina. Present, teacher. Eh, Giovanni Alexander. Present, teacher. Welcome. Eh, let me see, Harrison. Gerson Manuel. José Miguel. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Palacios. Karina Noemí. Present. Eh, Linda Ivette. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Maria Idalia. I am here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. 
Marvin, Nancy y Beth, Nancy y Beth, the second time, okay. Uh, Norma Carolina, present teacher, Rafael Ernesto, I'm here teacher, okay. Um, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Suleima. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Xiomara. Xiomara El Carmen. It's not here. And Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina, are you there? No? Okay. Bien, comenzó la lluvia por este rumbo. No sé en el lugar donde están si hay lluvia o no hay lluvia. No. Ok. No. Ah, ok, ok. Mucho calor. Ok, let us go back to here. Today we are going to make a review about the topics that we have started during this week. For the reason is called vocabulary practice. This is the class number five. And in order to start talking, we are going to make a review about the use of should. What can you tell me about it? What do you remember about the, the last class? You can take a look to your note if you want. Well, if you don't remember, I'm going to remember you. What we are talking. Yesterday we were uh, talking about the use of should, okay, and uh, I'm going to, let me see, okay, can you see it very well? Yes. Okay, yes, okay. Yes, okay, 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 you should or shouldn't to give somebody advice or say what you think is the right things to do. In this case, what I have here is the personal pronoun, I, he, she, it, uh, I don't know what it's doing this to here. We, you and they, not this one, okay? And then we are going to use should, or shouldn't, plus the verb that is gonna be infinity but without two. Okay, this that is why this word is here. That that means that we are going to use should. Vamos a usar should or shouldn't eh, más el verbo que en este caso eh, no debe de llevar la partícula tú. Okay. okay. And, Entonces, uh, you are going to take one of these. Then you are going to use should or shouldn't. And then you are going to add uh, the pay form of the verb. Is that clear? Is that clear for you? Yes, it's clear. Okay. What about the rest? ¿Alguien tiene eh, alguna duda con respecto a esto? Hola. No, teacher. Okay. No. 
Okay. No. Okay. 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 <laughs> no problem. Entonces, okay. We often use. I think you should, or I don't think you should. Somebody wants to read the, the example that I have here? Me, teacher. Okay, do it. I think you should change your job. Okay. Why? It is because this, uh, this picture. What is, what, is, what is the meaning of this? Odio mi trabajo, because I hate my <laughs> Yeah, yeah, some people used to say that. Yeah. Some people used to say that, yeah. But in my case, I love my job. Yeah. For, for that reason, I'm here at this time. Okay, what about the, the next example? Okay, esperemos que no se nos vaya la energía porque está haciendo mucho viento con la lluvia. Si es así, eh, tan pronto regrese y de regresa la señal, me conecto de nuevo. Así es que les pido de favor. Si eso sucede, que no se vayan a ir. Okay, I need that somebody read it, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Cristina. I don't think you should speak to her. Yeah. <laughs> take, take, take a look at the picture. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the picture. Okay, it's an advice, right? Okay, now is your turn. You are going to uh, practice. I need, uh, let me see how many sentences I have. Four, four different people. Okay, the first problem said, I have a problem going to sleep at night. What shall I do? Okay, I, I need advice. If you want to do it, just tell me. Me menciona, no me levante la manito porque cuando estoy presentando no puedo ver quién está levantando la mano. Solo hábleme. And that way you are going to participate. Okay, now we are talking about the, the, the number one. I have problems going to sleep at night. What? shall I do? What can you tell me? Remember that this is a review. Okay, come on, tell me. You should take medicine. Ah, okay. Okay, excellent. What else? Okay, Mas. You should drink a cup, cup of tea before going to sleep. Ah, okay, excellent. Somebody else, please. Tell me. What else? ¿Qué más puedo hacer? Hey, teacher. Tell me. Uh, you should make your exercise uh, before you sleep. Ah, okay. I can do exercise before go to sleep. Okay, it's a good idea. Okay. What about the second one? My neighbor's dog bars all the time and is driving me crazy. What shall I do? Do you understand this statement? Yes. Okay. You you should you should move of neighborhood. <laughs> okay, that means that I, I had to sell my house. <laughs> okay, nice. What else? What else can I do? 
¿Qué más puedo hacer? Tell me. You should drink uh, tea. 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 Okay. I should drink tea. Really? Yes. Talking about the second one. Okay, maybe the tea is going to calm down my nervous, right? Okay, somebody else, please. Alguien más? Maybe some of you have the same problem in your, in your neighborhood. What can I do? Tell me. Me mm. teacher. Okay, Angel. You should give, give a piece of bread. Ah, I should give a piece of bread to the dog, right? Okay. Okay, maybe in that way, uh, he's going to stop barking. Okay, what about the third one? My children want a dog, but my wife is allergic to animals. What should I do? Tell me. Uh, you should buy him a cat. Ah, okay. But the problem is this, my friend. Okay, sorry. The you problem. You should give the dog. The problem is this, but my wife is allergic to animals. If I buy a, uh, if I get a cat. Yes. Yes. I'm I, sorry. Yeah, yes. I'm going to have the same problem. Yeah. And the lady said that I need to give the the dog. No, but they want it. We don't have it now. They want it. Okay. Uh, entonces, you should buy him a, a toy. Repeat again, please. Because you should buy him a toy. Ah, a toy. Okay. A dummy. A dummy dog. Okay. It's a good advice. Somebody else? Alguien más? Me teacher. Okay, tell me. You should offer him another day of pet. Ah, okay. I can, I, I can, uh, I, I should offer, uh, Another kind of uh, pet, like uh, maybe it could be a parrot. A rabbit. A, yeah, a, a rabbit, a bear. What about a snake? <laughs> snake. <laughs> yeah, some people used to have it. As a pet. Hello? Serpiente. Yeah, but not in my case. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last one. I don't know how to study at home with the teacher, what shall I do? I don't, I don't know how to study at home without teacher. What shall I do? Okay, try to keep in mind this, sorry. Okay, try to keep in mind. What can you tell me about it? Piense, piense, piense. Did, did, did you understand the, the statement? Yes? Yes. Okay. What can you tell me? You should watch videos. Ah, okay. I can get help with videos. Okay. It's a good, good advice. 
what else? What else can I do? ¿Qué más puedo hacer? Tell me. Um, they should buy a, a fish tank. Ten, algo así. Como pecera. Ah, you are, you are talking about the previous one. Uh -huh. Usted está hablando de la anterior, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Talking about the pack. Okay. Okay, nice. But what about the last one? What can you tell me about the last one? I don't know. Show, how... Okay, tell me. Show, uh, buy a book, a book, teacher. Buy a book. Yes. Yeah, could be. Remember, I don't know how to study at home without a teacher. Yo no sé. ¿Cómo yo puedo estudiar en casa sin un profesor? ¿Qué debo de hacer? Piensa, piensa, piensa. Ok, you can tell me. Ok, I think, I consider, I believe, I guess. In my opinion, in my point of view. Mire cuántas formas le di ya. De cómo puede comenzar a darme la respuesta. Ok, tell me. Give me an advice. Good teacher. Ok, Ángel. Uh, you should consult a tutorial on the internet. Ok, could be a good advice. And the best advice is this. You shouldn't roll in INSA for courses because in that way you are going to be with a teacher. Do you think so? No? It's a good option. <laughs> Remember that uh, if you can have the teacher in your house, you can have it online. And that way you are going to interact and you are going to share ideas. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let us continue. Let me see the time. Okay, here we go again. For the reason, when you saw the slide, cuando vio la diapositiva, you saw this picture, that means that you need to think. And at the same time, I, I was uh, asking you for help. I started pidiendo ayuda, ayuda, ayuda. Okay, let us go to the conversation that we have here. We are going to practice. It is between John and Ben. I'm going to read it. Uh, algo que sí les quiero pedir es que si de repente sienten que la estoy leyendo muy rápido, por favor me avisa, oye. Porque para mí puede ser normal y yo puedo decir, sí, está bien, pero si usted necesita que vaya más lento, me va avisando. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, send this way. Okay. We, we were okay, very, teacher. ok, we were very busy yesterday. We have a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes. We don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate camer caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. Okay, we are going to read again. We were very busy yesterday. We have a lot of customer. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes. 
we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it is three for this year and the cost it is 30 per unit. That's great. Okay, somebody want to read it? Later on, we are going to practice with somebody else. But let us see how you can do it. On, only one, please. A volunteer. Me? Okay, tell me. We were only only me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you. Later uh, on, you are later on you are going to practice with somebody else. Okay, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did, I think, we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, is it's three for these years and the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. Okay, nice. Okay, somebody else want to do it? Recuerden que no puedo ver cuando levantan sus manitos porque cuando estoy presentando no puedo verlo. Así es que hábleme por favor para saber que quiere participar. Me teacher. Okay, Ángel. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have a low quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Why now? Is three for this year, and the cost is thirty per unit. That's right. Okay, thank you. Somebody want to do it? Me, hey, teacher. Okay, Rafael. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stack our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough when during a chocolate caramel. What was our inventory term over for chocolate caramel? What about the cut? Right now is a three for this year and the cut is a three per unit unit that's great okay okay somebody else please me teacher okay do it <laughs> we were very busy yesterday we had a lot of customers we did i think we need to stock our inventory yes we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel what was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cups? Right now is three for this year, and the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. Okay, thank you. Okay, I don't know if you have any question. If you don't have the material, yes, you can uh, make a screenshot now because we need to practice with somebody else. Let me see how many people do we have. Okay, 17. One is going to be in three, in trios. Uno va a quedar de tres. Ahí les pido de favor que vayan rotando, ¿no? Okay, and try to speak uh, very clear at the moment that you are performing the, this conversation, please. 
Let me see how many people I say. Okay, I got it. Okay, let me see. Juan Carlos, Norma, and Xiomara. You are the one that are going to work in trios. That's in the room two is going to be Cristina and Julia. Maria Idalia and Reinaldo, Giovanni and Suleima, eh, Room 5, Karina and Linda, eh, let me see, Angel, Narciso and Rafael, Marlene and Nancy, and in Room 8 is going to be Ana del Carmen and Raquel Judith. Let me see the time that we are going to assign, three minutes is enough. Okay, so please uh, let us practice. And try to roll, try to roll uh, the different uh, agent that we have there, okay? Here we go. Okay, at this time they are practicing practicing the, the conversation. Maria Idalia. Maria Idalia. Remember that it is really important that we practice speaking. And that way you are going to be able to communicate in a better way with somebody else. Okay, welcome back. I need uh, some volunteers to perform the conversation, please. Me, teacher. Okay, hablaron. With Cristina. Tres, tres al mismo tiempo, okay. Cristina? Yes. I, I begin. Okay, do it. We were very busy yesterday. We have a lot of customers. We need, we did, I think we need to store inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate and caramel. What about our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right, no, E3 for this year and the cost E34 unit. That's great. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Marlene. Okay. 
Nancy. Okay. Um, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did, I think, I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now is free for this year and the cost is 30 per unit. Thanks, Ray. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Me, con Giovanni. Okay, good. Eh, empiezo, Giovanni. We were okay. very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quality for chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it's three for the gel, and the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. Thank okay. you, Vani. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. Okay, do it. Okay. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot, a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. Oh. What was our inventory to oh. order for chocolate caramel? What oh. about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is for per unit. That's great. Okay, thank you. Okay. And the last couple y la última pareja que quiera hacerlo. Mi teacher and Reinaldo. Okay, María. Do it now, please. Okay. Uh, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $30 uh, dollars per unit. That's great. Okay. Excellent. Any question so far from here? Alguna preguntita que tenga hasta acá? There no, is, teacher. There, there is a word. Hay una palabrita ahí que eh, tend to confuse some of you. BC. BC. Yeah? Yes. We were very busy. Okay. No question. No question. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next slice. 
Okay, right now we are going to solve, to resolve the exercise number two. Let me show you. Well, I'm, I can do it right here in the book if you want. I'm going to get bigger. Okay, I got it here. Let me see. Yeah, it's gonna be this one. Okay, can you see it? Okay, we are going to match the definition with the words below. We have a cost, inventory turnover, stock, quantity, and inventory. And you are going to look for the concept here. Okay, you have a life for two to five minutes in order to solve it. Please try to do it now. Take your time in order to do that. Don't worry about it. Tómese su tiempo para poder resolver ese ejercicio, por favor. Do you mind if I stop sharing? No hay problema si dejo de compartir? No problem. For me, no. Okay. As soon as you finish, just let me know, please. Finish, teacher. Okay, Angel. Angel. Generalmente los estudiantes en, en bachillerato en básica, lo primero que preguntan en mi nombre en inglés, ¿cómo es, teacher? A ustedes no les sucedió eso, ¿no? Y resulta que, que 
a medio del tiempo pasa, nos dimos cuenta que los nombres, sino ya el que se llama Juan, se llama Juan. Al menos que se mueva a otro lado y que el americano de, quiera decirle John, es diferente, pero el nombre va a ser Juan. Pedro Peter. Peter, sí. Pero esos son equivalentes. Sí, verdad. Son equivalentes porque uh, pues a nosotros acá ya nos conocen como Peter, como Pedro, perdón, como Juan, como Miguel, no como Michael. Y en cambio Michael Jackson es Michael Jackson, you know. Mike Tyson. And different names. Ok. No, todavía veo algunos trabajando. Ok, en lo que terminan, eh, quiero saber si está la persona a quien le corresponde eh, la asesoría de los 10 minutos el día de hoy. Tenemos que ver la lista entonces, porque todos dicen no, a mí no es, a mí no es. Más creo que es a Miguel. Y Miguelito no está. Miguelito fue a la tienda. Sí, anda en la tienda, Miguelito. Okay, another thing that I would like to ask you is this. It's connecting, it's connecting, it's there, it's coming, it's coming. Se le fue la señal. Ahí está. Welcome back, Miguel. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Okay, my question is this. How often do you get in, in contact with the language? When I ask you this question, what I, uh, what I want to know is uh, how often do you get in contact? Mean if you listen to music in English, if you watch a uh, series or movies in English, tell me. Or maybe the news. I don't know. I would like to know exactly. Or maybe in your job. I don't know. Maybe if some of you uh, need, need to speak English in your job every day. No? But maybe one day you are going to switch from the company you are now, maybe they are going to have some visitor, Americans, British, and you are going to speak English with them. Y, pero no le, una pregunta así, como fuera de, 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 no tan fuera de contexto. ¿Alguna vez ha tenido alguna situación en la que ha deseado hablar inglés perfectamente? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. En el aeropuerto. Ah, on the airport. Okay. Bueno, creo que sí terminó la mayoría. Yes. Or not. Yes, teacher. Okay. Not only in the airport. No, no solamente en el aeropuerto. Maybe in, in, in another place, like in a supermarket, 
at the, at the beach. See, all the pen in different places. Okay, here we go. I'm having a problem with my camera. I don't know what is, maybe it's cause the connection. Okay, let me see uh, where I have it here. Okay. Okay, what can you tell me about the number one? A particular amount of anything, what is that? Or is going to be better in this way? Lo vamos a hacer de, de otra forma. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do it in another, in another way. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read number one. Un voluntario que me lea la número uno con la palabra ya incluida y me lee toda la oración. Okay, it's going to be better in this way. Me, teacher. Okay, Anga. Quantity, a particular amount of anything. Okay, are you agree? Yes. Okay, okay, excellent. The second one. Number two. Now you can raise your hand. I can see you very well. If you want to talk, yes, raise your hand. Or oh, tell me, just tell me, me teacher. Yo creo que como está muy fácil, por eso no quieren participar. Dice, me no, teacher. Eso está muy fácil. Karina. Okay. Inventory, a complete listing of merchandise or stock on hand. Okay. Excellent. Para los que lo tienen diferente, eh, de una vayan eh, corrigiendo si es que hubiese algún eh, error. Ok. Number three, please. Number three. Hey, teacher. Ok, Giovanni. Cost the price paid to get something. Repeat the last word, please. Cost the price paid to get something. Something. Oh, okay. Cost the price to pay to get something. 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 And sometimes people say, uh, well, in in in, uh, in the United States, people don't say something. They say something. 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 Yeah. And we listen that way. Something. Yeah. Something. But it's something. Okay. Yeah. All depend. Okay. Number four, please. Number four. Sure. Dice Juan uh, Carlos. Inventory turnover, the number of times a company sells its inventory a year. A year, a year. Year. A year. Year. Yes. It is like if I ask you, how old are you? How, how, how is the, the answer? Who wants to answer that question? How old are you? Only one, please. Only one, only one. I am 20 years old. Okay, excellent. I ask you this question because some people say, for example, say, I am 25 years old. And no, we need to, we need to put together years old. I like that. Okay. Okay, so then the last one, please. Number five. Hagamos la cinco porque tengo que pasar la lista. Me teacher. Okay. Stuck to get more product in the inventory. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Let me check out the attendance now. Vamos a revisar la asistencia para ver quién ha aparecido. 
Remember that it is really important that you connect. Imagine suddenly you need to drive, but you can connect uh, using your cell phone. You, you can do it. It's really, really important that you do that. Okay, hold on a second, please. I got it here. I got it. Okay. Ada del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Angel. Present teacher. Cristina. Present. Giovanni. Present. Person. Person. No está. José Miguel. Present teacher. Ahí está, José Miguel. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Excelente. Um, Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. María. María Idalia. María Idalia. María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Marvin. Nancy. Present teacher. Ah, ok, ahí está Nancy. Norma. Present teacher. Eh, Rafael. I'm your teacher. Ok. Raquel. Present teacher. Reinaldo. Present. Suleima. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Eh, Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. And like that. And Ana Cristina. Chavarria Flores. Ana Cristina, no ha llegado, ok, no ha llegado, no hay problema, ok, here we go again, I hope that you can read it very well. Can you see it very well? Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to read the description of the chocolate product below and complete the chart with product specification, right? Okay. First of all, we are going to read the spicy peanut toffee. I don't know if uh, there is a volunteer who want to read it or I'm going to read it. For, okay, our pie peanut toffee is made with butter toffee, rusted peanut, and cayenne chili pepper. Spicy peanut toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. The cost is $7.50. Okay, let us concentrate our attention in the first ones. I need somebody who wants to read it. Only one, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Jose Miguel, read it, please. Spicy peanut, peanut toffee. Or spicy peanut toffee is made with better toffee, 
Brusted Pinout and Cayenne Chili and Pepper. Spicy peanut toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, spicy and crunchy. Okay. The price is seven fifty dollar. Seven dollar and fifty cent. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, like 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 the singer, fifty cent. It's thirty cent. Thirty. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, somebody else is? Okay, in this word, can you see my, my, my mouse? Yes? Yes. Let, let, me, uh, let me try to do something here. This class. Okay. Try to say K K M K M K M instead of say. What is K M? What is K M? Yeah, instead of say yeah, right here is going to be like a, uh, and letter E, the C is going to be like K. La primera va a ser como una K, la segunda va a ser como una E. Y luego estas dos se van a convertir en una I y solo va a sonar la N. Esa sería la mejor pronunciación. ¿Ok? Cayenne. Cayenne chili pepper. Cayenne chili pepper. Cayenne. Yeah, cayenne. Ok, somebody sí. else. Somebody else want to read it, please? Me, teacher. Ok, se me ajuntaron dos pero Que lo lee Cristina Ok, luego Karina um, Space Penon Toffee Or Spain Penon Toffee Is made with Bear Toffee Roasted Penon And the Cayenne Chili Paper Space Penon Toffee is the perfect combination for sweet, salty, spaced, and the crunchy. The price is $7.20, no, 15 cents. Okay, repeat, spicy. 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 Spicy peanut toffee. Spicy peanut toffee. No, right here you are going to put a na. Toffee. 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 Okay, much better. And right here is pepper. Say it, pepper. Pepper. Yeah, no paper, no paper. Paper is different. It's paper. Yeah, uh, have you heard a group that is called Red Hot Chili Pepper? Sí. I know you ese, ese, ese grupo que se llama Red Hot Chili Pepper. Californication. Ah, Californication. Uh, there is a song that is called Every Morning. Esa yeah. canción me recuerda a que la dejaba en mi alarma, ¿no? Y todas las mañanas sonaba la misma. I remember that long time ago. Okay, somebody I want to read, please. Me, yeah. teacher. Okay, Karina, I'm sorry. A spicy penna toffee. Or a spicy penna toffee is made with butter toffee, roasted peanuts, and cayenne. Chili pepper. A spicy penna toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. The cost is $7 with 50 cents. Excellent. I like that. Maybe suddenly you are going to get a, a job in the airport. You are going to go for TACA, announcing the flights, coming departures. You sound like that way, you know? Okay, somebody up, please. Hello. 
ya nadie quiere leer. Hello. What's going on here? I don't see you. Ah, okay. Ahí están. Creí que se habían ido. Cuando estoy presentando no les puedo ver. No sé si lo tienen eh, en su material. ¿Sí lo tienen? Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Alguien más que quiera leer? Recuérdense que están en un proceso de aprender, así que no deben de estar ahí con temores. Ay, que me voy a equivocar. No, se los he venido diciendo muchas veces. Mi teacher. <risa> ok. A la moneda. <risa> Al dos por uno. Bueno, ahí me ayudan. Spite, penal, toffing. Or spite, penal, toffing is made with butter, toffing, right, penal, and cayenne, chili, and pepper. Spite, penal, toffing is the perfect combination of sweet, salt, spite, and crunch seven dollar fifty space fifty cents oh, cents yeah salty salty spicy 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 okay thank you teacher okay you're welcome somebody else please la otra señorita caballeros I don't know yeah what's what's a lady okay go ahead Okay. Spicy peanut to taffy. Our spicy peanut taffy is made with butter taffy, roasted peanuts, and cayenne chili papers. Spicy peanut taffy is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. The cost is $7 with uh, 50 cents. Repeat pepper, pepper. Pepper, pepper. Yeah, yeah no paper. Pepper, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Okay, I guess it is enough. What about the next one? Turtle candies. Box sizes started with sea pieces, rich, buttery, caramel, fresh, rusted, pecans, dirt or meal chocolate. The price is $6.30, okay? Somebody want to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Lady first and then the gentleman. Okay. Total candies. Box sizing starting with six pieces. Rich, buttery, caramel. Fresh roasted pecans. Dark or milk chocolate. The price, $6.00. 30 cents. Okay, thank you. Somebody else. El caballero que dijo me. Me teacher. Me. Turtle candies. Box size starting with six pieces. Rice, but, buttery, caramel, fresh, roast, pecan. Dark or milk chocolate, six dollars thirty cents. Okay, somebody else, please. Next, please. Teacher. Hello. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? El inicio, tor, torle. Ah, Tarot uh, Candies. Tarot. Tarot Candies. Tarot can, Candies. Bye. Tarot oh. Candies. Tarot Candies. Candies. Yeah, Tarot Candies. Oh, bye. Okay. Tarot Candies, box size, starting with 
six, six pieces. Pieces, no sé cómo me pronuncia. Okay, pieces. Rich pieces. Rich buttery caramel fresh roasted pecans dark or milk chocolate eh, six dollars thirty cents. Okay, thirty cents. Okay. Okay, somebody else, please. Who else? Alguien más? Me, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nancy. Carol candy, candy, box size starting with six pieces. Right. Bart. No sé cómo se pronuncia esta. Uh, Battery. Very caramel, French roasted pecan, dark or milk chocolate. In the cost of is six dollar and twenty cents. Okay. okay. Thank you. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Sorrel candy. Book sign is stands is standing with six pieces, right? Rice, body, caramel, rice, roast, roasted, pecan, dark or milk chocolate. The price is six, six thirty cent, cent. The price. The price is. Price. The price six thirty cent. Okay. Okay, what about the next one? Chocolate cover, caramel. Chocolate, pure caramel and chocolate box sizes started with six pieces. It's something uh, the same. The price $7. Chocolate cover, caramel. Chocolate, pure caramel and chocolate box sizes starting with six pieces. The price seven dollar. Okay, somebody else want to read it, please. Alguien que desee leerlo. Me teacher. Okay, Anna. Chocolate covered caramels. Chocolate pure caramel in chocolate box size, starting with six pieces. Uh, the price seven dollars. Okay, starting with six pieces. Okay, somebody else? Me teacher, chocolate covered caramels, chocolate pure caramels and chocolate box size starting with six pieces, pieces price uh, $7, $7. Okay, okay. And the last one, somebody else, please. Uno más. Me, teacher. Okay, Karina. Chocolate cover caramels, chocolate pure caramel and chocolate, but sizes starting with seeds pieces. The price is $7. Okay, thank you. Chocolate deep nuggets. Our chocolate deep nugget is made from old fashioned nuggets, candy recipe, and contain just the right combination of honey, almond, vanilla, and dark chocolate. The price is $7. Okay. Let us do it now. Chocolate Repeat deep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Again. Chocolate deep nuggets. Our chocolate deep nuggets made from our old fashioned nuggets candy recipe and contain yes. The right combination of honey, almond, 
vanilla and dark chocolate. The price is $7. Okay, a volunteer, a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Angel. Okay, you... teacher, okay, teacher. Chocolate, dip it, nugget. Our chocolate, dip it, nugget is made from our all passion. Nugget can be recept, recite, in contents, you the right combination of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Price seven dollar. Okay, right here is deep, deep, deep. Okay, old fashioned. Fashion, fashion. Okay, somebody else, please. Ah, and right here is nugget, nugget, nugget. Okay. okay. Chocolate dipped nugget or chocolate dip. Nugget is my from or old fashion. Nugget candy recipe and contain just the right combination of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. The price is seven dollar. Okay. And the last one, please. Somebody else who wants to read it. El último. Hey, okay. Hey, chocolate deep nugget. Our chocolate deep nugget is made from our old fashion. Nugget candy received and contain just the right combination of honey, almond, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Seven dollar. Okay, repeat. Recipe. 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 Vanilla. Vanilla. Okay. 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 I don't know if you, I don't know if you have any question. ¿Alguna pregunta que tengáis relacionada al reading? ¿No? ¿No question? ¿Raquel? Sí. ¿No question? ¿Marlen? ¿María? Está su loco. No, picture. Ah, ahí están, ahí están, ahí están. Ahí están. Creí que estaban dormidas, ¿no? Okay, okay, let us continue working on it, please. Let me see the book. Okay, I got it here. Because we need to continue working on the exercise that we have. Uh... Let me see. Okay, I got it here. here is here okay this is your book we have been uh, reading it here let me see okay hemos estado leyendo esta parte and then we need to complete this chart uh, we have four column here and how many product do we have we have four two okay what you are going to do is you are, you are going to write down the name. You are going to write down here the name of the product. Okay. 
uh, if the product have a code, you can put it there. If the product, it doesn't have any code, you are not going to write down anything there, okay? Uh, what about the size? Box with fit unit, you are going to check it. Aquí solo va a checar si el producto tiene cajas con seis unidades, okay? And the next one, you are going to write down some ingredients. Aquí vamos a escribir algunos ingredientes que contiene el producto. And the next one, we are going to write down the weight, el peso. And in the last row, esta es la row, la fila, price per unit, el precio por unidad. And also maybe could be box with six units. Okay, is that clear? Está claro? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Let us work on it now, please. Trabajemos en eso, por favor. Cualquier duda, I'm here to help you. At the end, you are going to show me your notebook to be sure that you feel. Después me van a mostrar el cuaderno para ver si llenaron todos los cuadritos. Porque alguno me va a decir, sí, ya lo tengo.
Ok, en lo que están trabajando, uh, estoy revisando la plataforma y eh, todavía veo algunos que no han ni iniciado. Let me check up the names. <coughs> Nancy está. ¿Está Nancy y Beth? No. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. Ok, 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 ok. Let me see somebody else. Reinaldo. Permitirse. Ok. Ok, para quienes no han iniciado a hacer las actividades de la semana 1, por favor, les invito a que lo hagan porque en mi caso me gusta llevar actualizado el libro de registro de notas. Les pido ese favor. Sé que ya es bastante tarde, algunos están ya cansaditos, pero ya... Paciencia que ya vamos a terminar, ¿sí? Recuerden que todo esfuerzo tiene una recompensa. Claro, es duro, cuesta. Pero así nos toca a todos. Para lograr llegar a, a tener algo, es muy duro, ¿no? Y bueno, en mi caso... Muchas veces me ha tocado de repente dormirme sobre el teclado de mi computadora porque me toca leer bastantes eh, temas y a veces revisar dos plataformas o tres a veces. Entonces a todos nos toca sacrificado. Así que tranquilos. I don't know if you if you already finished. Yes. I think yes. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you want to to share what you have. It's up to you if you want to do it. Okay. 
Okay, we want to do something. Vamos a hacer algo. No es que se van a dar copia, sino que uh, van a comparar con un compañero. I'm going to give you three minutes in order that you compare with. Okay? Despiérteme al que se está durmiendo y dígale, venga, vamos, revisemos. Now we are implementing the cooperative learning and that way they are helping each other, checking what they have done. Okay, what can you tell me about the chart? A volunteer who wants to talk about this, who wants to read it? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, algo así era, ¿verdad? Creo yo. Yes. Um, vaya. Name spicy peanut toffee. Call. Yo me lo inventé. Ok, nice. Number one. Size. Six units. Uh, ingredients. Butter bur toffee. Roasted peanuts and ese no sé cómo se dice cayenne chili pepper. Cayenne, cayenne, cayenne chili pepper, okay? Cayenne. Yeah, cayenne. Cayenne. 
chili pepper. Weight, nothing. And price per unit. And one, eso no sé cómo se dice bien los precios, teacher. One twenty-five dollars. No. One dollar and twenty-five cents. One dollar and twenty-five cents. Yeah, or one and twenty-five. One and twenty-five, that's it. One and twenty-five. Okay. Two candies and go to size six and ingredients right buttery caramel fresh roasted chickens dark or milk chocolate rice and one I didn't review one one and five one and five one and five dollars and main chocolate covered caramels called three size six and ingredients chocolate per caramel and chocolate weigh nothing and price one thirty uh, one seventeen one and seventeen one, one and seventeen yes one and seventeen and a chocolate deep nugget called for uh, size um, bueno, seis, six ingredients okay. honey, almonds, vanilla. Eso no sé cómo se dice. Vanilla, 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 vanilla. and dark chocolate. Weigh nothing and price one seventy. One seventy. Okay. Only. Okay, thank you. Pretty good. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. Let's stop chatting, please. Ah, no lo puedo agrandar esto. Okay. No veo dónde era. No me salen grandes, teacher. Usted no puede hacer algo ahí. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. Ok. Do you see my share now? Yes. 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 Okay, somebody else wants to tell me something about this? Let me see what happened now. Okay, I got it. Okay. Somebody else, please. Just read it or share it, whatever you want to do. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, please. Alguien más, por favor. No? Hello? Teacher me. Ana del Carmen. Pero yo solo lo voy a decir porque okay, me entiende. Okay. <laughs> eh, names Spice Pinum Taffy. Okay. Eh, size one. Eh, ingredients butter taffy, roasted pinums, and cayenne chili pepper. Price per unit, $7.50. cents. Eh, Torkler tor candies, eh, sips, box six with side pieces, ingredients, ba, ba, no puedo pronunciar mantequilla, creo que es buttery, butter. caramel, butter, 
caramels, er, roasted pecans, dark or milk chocolates, er, boss with say junis, er, price six dollars thirty cent cents. Chocolate covered caramels, sips, box six, say pieces. Uh, ingredients, chocolate, pure caramels. Uh, box with six units, seven dollars. Chocolate dip nuggets, ones. Ingredients, chocolate candies, honey, almonds, vanilla. Dark chocolates, price per unit, seven dollars. Only okay. teacher. Okay, thank you. I like, I like that. I like that. Me gusta porque me gusta ver el esfuerzo que ustedes hacen y eso es importante. Cada vez que ustedes se ponen a leerme algo, significa de que ustedes están en con todos los buenos deseos de poder mejorar, ¿sí? Ok, excelente. Ok, in order to continue for the, the rest of the time that we have, we are going to make a review about the topic that we already have started. Who wants to tell me the first one? ¿Quién me quiere decir cuál fue el primer topic that we started? Try to remember, ok. Hello, I'm asking you about the first topic. The word, the, the command, first, second, third, then the process. Ah, a step to follow or mark a process, okay? Who wants to give me an example about that? Alguien quiere darme un ejemplo relacionado a eso, please? Only one, only one. No more than one, only one, please. Okay, tell me, please, tell me. Yo creo que no le gusta que los esté puchando así. Que apúrese, apúrese. Ay, no, nos apura demasiado el teacher. <ríe> ¿Ah? No le gusta, ¿cierto? El proceso, teacher. Ok, yes. Yeah. Give me an example. Uh, first, first, uh, second, then, final. Yeah, 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 but, but I want an example. For, uh, for instance, I, I could say, okay, if I'm going to travel to a different country, the first thing that I need to do is this. The second one is this. The third one is this. And finally, when I arrive to the airport, I need to check up or, uh, or make my check-in in the border, present my passport, my visa, et cetera, et cetera. Así quiero el ejemplo. O lo puede hacer más sen sencillo. Yeah. Okay. First, okay. we have a, a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we have a thin layer of slice, sliced almond. Finally, we have ginger. Ah, ok, ok, ok. What is the name of the product? ¿Cuál sería el nombre del producto? Eh, podría ser... Eh, este, medicina. That could be medicine. Okay, okay, okay. What about the second topic? Who wants to tell me about it? something about the second topic? What do you remember? What is the second topic? Do you remember that? The clouds. Ah, okay. What clothes? Who wants to give me an example? Uh, 
who wants to tell me an example, please? What do you need a study in English but understand? Mm, okay. <clears throat> what do you need? What you need is to study English, okay? In order to understand people. Okay, I like that. Another example, please. Alguien más tiene otro ejemplo? Hello? No? What I am thinking is, lo que yo estoy pensando es, that maybe you lost your notes, de quizá usted perdió las notas, su cuaderno. Okay, no, no ejemplos, no ejemplos. Causes the time, causes the time. Uh, what about the next topic? ¿Cuál fue el siguiente tema? How to use imperative. Okay, imperative. Give me some example about that, please. Or on your camera. Okay, 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 okay. I like that. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Don't smoke here. Oh, okay, don't smoke here because smell bad. Smell bad? Yeah, smell bad, stink. Ya esa palabra, ojo con eso, les hago la aclaración. ¿Saben lo que significa? Sí, ¿cierto? No, 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 la última que yo dije. Apesta. <laughs> Sí, en cierto modo esa palabra a veces se, se usa así como, bueno, no debía enseñársela. <ríe> ok, agárrenla en el lado amable, ok. Ok, somebody else? Open the door. Oh, open the door, ok, open the door. Ok, excellent. What about the next topic? ¿Cuál es el próximo tema? Es de vocabulary practice. Ok. How de, to use should. Uh, yeah, could be also how to use should. Should and shouldn't that we started yesterday, ok. Ok, if you want to learn how to pronounce a word, you should look for the pronunciation in Google or maybe uh, in a dictionary. Okay. Okay, I, I recommend you to have a dictionary in your cell phone. But look for those dictionaries that have a good pronunciation, American. American is going to be better instead of British. Okay. Okay, let me see the time. I got two minutes. Okay, any comment about the at the end of this week? Algún comentario? Hemos finalizado la primera semana. Just tell me. Congratulations. Okay, congratulations to all of you because you already finished the first week. And, and, now, and now I invite you to, cuando tenga un tiempo libre, y se quiera desprender de alguna cosa que tenga por ahí, trate de recordar y dice, ok, I'm going to remember. If you want, you can close your eye. 
and you are going to say, okay, I'm going to remember the first topic. The first topic is this, and I learned this. The second one is this, and I learned this. The third one was this. Y de esa manera van a hacer memoria de lo que han aprendido. ¿Cierto? Yes. Okay. Okay, I like that. Okay, let me check out the attendance. Uh, before you leave, I want to remember, I don't see, Miguel, are you there, Miguel? Jose Miguel? No, teacher. I don't know, let, let, me, let me see the list. I'm, I'm not pretty sure if you are the one that is going to be with me at the end. Maybe you are going to be on Saturday. Déjeme mirar la lista de a quién le corresponde el uno a uno el día de hoy. Mm, I got it here. Today is six. Let me see. No, okay. Ahora le corresponde a Gerson. Gerson Manuel Hernández Hernández. Gerson, are you there, Gerson? Gerson. Gerson. No veo a Gerson. Where is it? Gerson, Gerson. Bueno, a la hora de pasar la lista, vamos a ver si está o no está. Ya se me escondió Gerson. Ok, veamos la lista. No estuvo en clases. No estuvo en clases. No estuvo Gerson, ¿cierto? No, estuvo, no. Bueno, hasta va a perder su... su su conversatorio. Algunas veces no necesariamente puede tener uh, alguna pregunta relacionada con algún tema, ¿no? Que sería lo más ideal, pero si tiene algo otra y considera que le puedo ser útil en siempre relacionado al idioma, we, we can talk about that. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok, let me see. Ajá, uh -huh. I got some comment here. Let me see, let me see what's going on here. I got it. Okay. Bueno, les he ido eh, Dando oportunidad a todos. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present teacher. Cristina. Cristina. Present. Eh, Giovanni. Present. Gerson. No estuvo hoy, ok. José Miguel. Present teacher. Eh... Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Ok, uh, Linda. Sorry, present teacher. Ok. María Idalia. Present teacher. Eh, María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Marvin. Nancy. Nancy. Present teacher. Okay, Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Mamá. Eh, Reinaldo. Reinaldo. Present teacher. Ok. Suleima. Present teacher. Xiomara. Present teacher. Ana Cristina. It's not here. Ana Cristina is not here. Ok. Peter no me mencionó. ¿A quién? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Karina. Déjame si. ¿Será que ya me estoy durmiendo? Karina Noemi. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's there. I'm sorry. I feel really sorry. 
Sí, pero ya, ya, ya estaba checadita. Ya estaba chequeadita ahí, así es que no se preocupe. Ok, antes de que se me vayan, comentarles que... Uh, como no, eh, bueno, ya algunos les mencioné qué fecha les corresponde el uno a uno. Si por algún motivo eh, usted no se sintió satisfecho o satisfecha cuando me hizo alguna pregunta, anótela. Y cuando tenga su tiempo, ahí puede sacar la lista. ¿Ya? Porque okay, a veces, eh, a veces la respuesta que puedo mm -hmm. darle puede ser así tan rápida que... Eh, usted puede decir, ve, no me quiso contestar o cualquier cosa. Entonces, si no le quedó algo claro, por favor, eh, indíqueme y con gusto le voy a explicar con más, eh, con más tiempo quizás sería lo más adecuado. Y, y como ya dije, si de repente eh, sienten que voy así como hablándoles muy rapidito, me van avisando porque generalmente eh, pues el ritmo que uno mantiene es, 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 es ese, ¿no? Entonces a veces toca que bajarle un poco al acelerador y eh, ahí es posible que alguno o algunos pues se me, se me aflijan y dicen no, 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 habla muy rápido, no le comprendo o no me comprende y el objetivo es de que solventen sus dudas y si de repente hay algo, me preguntaron algo y por A o B o X o Y razón no les di la respuesta eh, bueno al, al final me puede recalcar por favor oye así para que vayamos entendiéndonos porque eh, no me gustaría que después digan ve no me quiso responder o cualquier cosa el objetivo es ayudarles. Así es que... Uh, yeah, y la otra cosa es que de repente el objetivo es hablar más inglés que español, ¿cierto? Así que por esas razones, uh, I had to speak only English. I know that sometimes it's really difficult for some of you to understand in the way that I speak. But uh, after the next week, you are going to start doing something in a different way. Ya después, ya en la siguiente semana, creo que van a sentir la, como la diferencia, porque esta es como una adaptación que se ha hecho, ¿no? Así es que, por favor, les pido que no, no se me aflijan, traten de conectarse. Acuérdense que es parte de su desarrollo el mantenerse los minutos acá. ¿Sí? Y eh, las disculpas del caso, si de repente los he presionado mucho y que quiero las respuestas así un poco rápido, pero es que eso es muy importante. Al final, en el idioma, eh, si ustedes se acostumbran desde ya a ponerle un challenge a su, a su mente, las respuestas van a ser espontáneas. Así es que, I do really sorry si alguien por ahora ve. Eh, se sintió ahí que no, 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 mucho corre este señor, no, demasiado. Así que, I apologize for that, ¿ok? Ok, thank you very much. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Sent sentí como que si ya era viernes y que había terminado la semana, porque como comenzamos el día jueves. Ah, le, eh, algo que sí le voy a decir en español es que quienes no hayan eh, hecho las actividades de la plataforma, les pido que las hagan porque yo necesito actualizar eh, el cuadro de notas. So please try to do it and I, con, uh, I congrats to all of you that got a good grade. Ya vi ahí que tienen muchos, muchos cienes. Aquí no decimos muchos dieces porque dieces sería uno, ¿ok? Entonces... Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. See you. Good night, teacher. Tomorrow night. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night.
Bye bye, Xiomara. Bye bye, Maria Italia. Bye. Okay, in order to finish this section, I would like to tell you that the person that was assigned to have the 10 minutes to talk about any though, uh, it doesn't show up today in the class for that reason. Uh, we are not going to have uh, any participant talking the last 10 minutes with me, okay? I hope that you understand all the topic for this week. And if you have any doubt, just let me know, send me a message. And uh, I'm here to help you. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in the next section.